The next important part in crime analysis is stylometry. We'll try to introduce that. Nowadays, language technology has reached to a different level of art. This enables the systematic study of the variation of linguistic properties in texts like author detection, fine time period of an author, gender of the author, etc. Stylometry is the application of the study of linguistic style, usually to written language, but it has successfully been applied to music, fine arts, paintings, and today even for crime analysis. It's a kind of study by which a person can judge about another person based on their writing style. It's a behavioral feature that a person exhibits during writing and can be extracted and used potentially to check the identity of the author of online documents. Although stylometric techniques can achieve higher accuracy rates for longer documents, it is still a challenging one to identify the author of short documents, in particular when dealing with large author populations. I can just say today SMS short message services are very popular so it's really difficult to apply this concept uh, for criminal analysis naturally stylometry faces certain challenges in checking the authorship of online messages such as emails text messages or even the tweets just now i told you about the sms as well the most recent stylometry technique finds its application in authorship studies from the literary studies aspect, more recent techniques such as computational text analysis are typically concerned by stylometry. Computational text analysis can be termed as distant reading, not reading or macro analysis. These are all some of the advanced methods which can be used in crime analysis today. Of course, as we discussed earlier with more machine learning and artificial intelligence, Techniques. Now let's move on to the steps in stylometry analysis. Stylometry analysis does not aim at single direct reading unlike literary analysis which involves the traditional practice of close reading. Using computational techniques, stylometry tries to explore a large collection of texts expanding the scope of inquiry in the humanities by scaling up research resources to large text collections to discover the similarity and the differences between various relationships and patterns that are invisible to normal human eyes. Stylometric analysis involves a complex multi-stage pipeline of three steps namely pre-processing, feature extraction and finally the classification. These are the three fundamental steps that are mostly used to handle most of the cyber security cases. Let's uh, talk about one after the other. Pre-processing. Stylometry offers a rich set of options to load various text formats from the file system. Apart from raw text, stylometry allows loading of encoded text based on the guidelines of text encoding initiative. Next comes the feature extraction. After pre-processing of data, users would need to extract instrumental features from the corpus. A large variety of factors proposed for extracting features are word length, sentence length, paragraph length, character engrams, and finally function words. Now comes the final part, rather the third part of it, which is classification. Stylometry makes use of various advanced classification methods right from machine learning domain till the advanced next domain like the deep learning methods. Generally, the classification analysis involves two stages. In the first stage, the feature samples collected from each category, target category are trained and in the second stage, the remaining samples are subject to testing. Now let's move on to stylometry features. There are various stylometry features available in the literature. They are the lexical features, syntactic features, structural features, content specific features, 
idiosyncratic features and linguistic features lexical features they describe the semantics of the words used by the author next comes the syntactic features they rely on the analysis of typical sentence structure considering elements like function words punctuation and part of speech tags next comes the structural features they target the actual composition of the text discussing its organization and layout the next one is the content specific features they are based on the analysis of essential keywords and phrases on specific topics like scientific publications next comes the idiosyncratic features they are based on individual usage of anomalies like misspellings and grammatical mistakes the stylometric uh use many linguistic features for author verification that consists of scientific and replicable methods we'll move on to the applications of stylometry stylometry has direct applications for privacy security software forensics plagiarism copyright infringement disputes authorship attribution authorship characterization and finally authorship verification of course there are many tools available for stylometry the tools available for stylometric research on the web are very frequently used but most of them are research oriented and they require some familiarity with the programming languages there are open source tools also available with graphical user interfaces independent of the operating platforms for example the java's graphical authorship attribution program that is jgaap and another one is a stylo r package the jgap has been developed by patrick jola and his collaborators in the evl labs it is based on java and it uses a friendly gui which can help to select a large number of stylometric features and train them using the state of the art machine learning algorithms the stylo r package is a package written in the r language and provides easy to use implementation platform in the field of computational stylistics including non traditional authorship attribution then gender recognition and style development etc now we'll move on to stylometry and artificial intelligence today artificial intelligence is the talk of the town it is applied in almost all the activities including day to day products and processes the modern phase of stylometry has now been changed by the influx of techniques from the various domains of computer science and especially artificial intelligence it is possible to regard stylometry as a problem of pattern recognition in most of the disputed authorship the discriminating pattern is unknown and possibly difficult to recognize of course neural networks have the ability to recognize the underlying organization of the data which is of vital importance for any pattern recognition problem the application of neural networks in stylometry is very very promising as i told you all branches of artificial intelligence they have the potential to be applied in stylometry another interesting uh, area is the genetic algorithms genetic algorithms view stylometry as a pattern recognition problem once again rather than using a connectionist approach genetic algorithms use the learning techniques by generating large number of syntactically valid but semantically meaningless rules the role of artificial intelligent techniques in stylometry has vast potential and it appears to be an excellent classifier with fewer input variables than the standard statistical methods generally applied in most of the classification problems today there are many useful applications of stylometry such as authorship attribution plagiarism detection and gender based information retrieval systems